Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting this series I mentioned in one of my previous videos and that is the top three monthly. So each month of the year I'm going to go through three of my favorites from the past month and just give you a short little rundown and why I enjoy them and maybe it will inspire you to check out a new series you haven't checked out before. So um, hopefully for the next couple of months I will have a better selection of like anime and manga but this month is all anime because of the recent uh, winter 2016 anime season. So I've been watching a ton of those. I think I'm currently watching, I want to say seven of them. I'll double check on that. But three of them are really, really um, fun. And I have just been enjoying them every single week. I look forward to it. So yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and get into the first favorite. All right, so my first favorite of this anime season is probably no surprise to anybody. And that is Assassination Classroom season two. Um, I want to say that this season seems like it's starting off a little bit more lighthearted than the first one, but I think at this point, if you've watched the first season, you're so connected to all the characters, so it's one of those shows that I watch that leaves me smiling at the end of every episode. So essentially, what is happening in the world of Assassination Classroom is that there is a class, and they are pretty much the failures of the school, they, they're called the end class, so when they graduate, there's no hope for them they're just not gonna have a future essentially because they're stupid and there is this uh to put it i guess in normal terms a teacher who looks like an octopus and they call him koro sensei and he blasted away most of the moon so there's just a crescent moon all the time because he blasted away the rest of it so um as a dying wish of the previous teacher of the end class he takes over as their teacher and essentially he says you can kill me by the end of the school year and then I won't destroy the earth but if you fail I'm gonna destroy your your home essentially so they have until graduation to assassinate him but as it turns out he's probably the best teacher they've ever had and he sincerely cares about them and they just get into a lot of crazy stuff uh, it kind of goes back and forth between them tr wanting to assassinate him and then him being involved and just having fun with them so it's just one of those series you really can't pass up um I know when I first started the first series uh I was like this is gonna be the weirdest thing ever and I was instantly hooked so I think Luna recommends it too and then the second favorite I have is actually another show that comes out on Thursday so I actually have a couple of my favorites to watch on the same day which is pretty cool so the second one is no surprise to anyone and that is Erased uh that's the English translation of it and I'm sure you've heard everybody talking about it and for good reason. Um, so essentially our main character is an aspiring manga artist but he kind of works at like I believe it's a pizza shop and throughout his whole life he has the ability which he calls revival and it is the ability to go back in time to correct something that is wrong. So if there's like a disaster uh, he'll live through it once and then in it's like he goes backwards in time just long enough to mistake to fix the mistake essentially so um we kind of just see that at the beginning of the first episode and then at the end of the first episode there is a huge event that happens and he ends up uh his revival kicks in and he actually goes all the way back to elementary school and he is i think he's about 30 at the beginning of the show but then you have to watch him go through his life in elementary school to try to save one of his classmates that was kidnapped and murdered so it is getting so intense it's really i mean it's kind of bizarre because it's really it makes your heart race but there's also some really touching and romantic parts as well um i really think that the time travel thing is working with this series um a lot of people were skeptical that it was gonna throw off the um kind of like the pace of the show but i think it works fantastic and I cannot recommend this series enough. So if you guys haven't checked it out, please do. Because I think that it is going to be the top rated anime of the season. If it is not already decided that it's the top one. So yeah, please check it out. It is just one that will get you hooked from the first episode. And my third favorite for this month is actually something that I didn't expect to be my favorite. Because of uh, the animation. So this series is Ajin Demi Human. And I was really hyped up for this this season. And then when I was watching the trailers and everything, I was like, Ugh, the 3D animation is going to kill me. So the first episode was kind of tough for me to get through. 
Um, just like adjusting to the animation, which I don't think many people like 3D animation over the typical animation style. So that was a little bit rough, but I actually think in my head, I feel like there is a specific reason why they're doing the 3D animation. I believe that's for the Black Ghosts. I'm not going to go into that too much because that's like a little spoiler territory, but I think that there is a reason they did the 3D. I really didn't expect to enjoy the series because of the animation, but I think that the story is so, um, I don't know what the word I want to say is. I guess the story is just so fast paced that by the time you realize it, you've gone through the whole episode and not really paid any attention to the art style whatsoever. So I think at first it is a little bit, um jarring to the eye it's just something you can't really put your finger on that something doesn't look right but by the end of the episode at least for me every time I'm like oh yeah I forgot that it was even in a 3d animation style so um if you guys haven't heard before I think I've talked about Ajin a couple times essentially they are humans who when they die they come back to life um and you don't know that you're an Ajin until you die obviously so some people go their entire lives and then when they die they miraculously just come back so when they uh, come back to life, any injury, they, injury that they um, received uh, during the first death is recovered. So they kind of heal and they have screams that can paralyze people uh, as an attempt to protect themselves. And it is about our main character, which is K Nagai. Or is it Nagai K? I'll check on that. But um, he is just walking uh, home and he is just mindlessly I think he's focused on the visit he just had with his sister and he gets hit by a truck he gets run over and everybody's freaking out because he's dead and he just gets up and now the entire uh prefecture and possibly the entirety of Japan and maybe even the world is after him now to try to capture him so that is kind of where we're at now and his best friend from his childhood is the only one who is on his side and wants to protect him, even if it means putting his own life in danger. So definitely recommend it. It's a fantastic series. Uh, like I said, just try to get through the first episode and get through, uh, get over the animation. I think that you'll really enjoy it. So that is my top three monthly from January. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for more videos, just hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you have anything you want to chat about, just leave some comments down below and I'll get back to you. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.